Know you by heart, like ink on my sleeve Right from the start, making memories You had bangs and a Honda Accord I bought them jeans I couldn't afford If you guys have ever moved, you know that moving a mattress is the worst part about the entire thing It's such a pain, there's no good way to grab it Especially if you're moving it up and down flights of stairs it's terrible. So I decided that mattress that I was using staying back in Ohio. Got a new bear mattress here and I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work. So I wanted to make sure I was filming this. So it does have instructions here. Step one, unbox. Step two, position. Step three, start cutting the plastic off. And step four, just watch it expand. See what it does. That process was awesome. If you guys have ever moved a traditional mattress before, not so much fun, but this took me 10 minutes start to finish from getting the mattress from my front door where they shipped it directly to getting it into my room. Moving a queen size mattress by myself, this is definitely the way to do it. And it's super soft, super comfortable. I'm gonna wait to give you guys my full review until I actually get to sleep on it, you know, but wow. Thank you to Bear Mattress for sending this thing out. I am really, really impressed. Oh, and by the way, welcome to Austin, Texas. This is my new bedroom. I will give you guys an entire apartment tour eventually, but it's kind of a mess right now. The whole move was, it was interesting. Let's put it like that. Not too bad, but it was definitely a process. So let's rewind a little bit, go back to Ohio one week ago and show you exactly how I got here. Fell asleep and had a kick-ass dream Me, Frank Sinatra, James Dean Sammy Davis at the bar drinking moonshine Nice women, white wine, chilling poolside $225 just for, just for like random stuff, you know? You didn't get anything cool, you just got like household necessities and $225, that Target is like It's like the Dracula of your bank account It just sucks all the money out of it and What the all right guys, so we are getting all packed up over here. I have to have the entire truck packed by Wednesday. Today is Saturday. I don't know that this TV is gonna make the cut. This thing might be getting sold. I forgot how big that thing was. I got pictures over here. We're gonna put those in the back of the truck. I might try to bring this thing. Not that I really like it, but just because I just need to put stuff on it. And I don't wanna buy another one because it's just a pain to go buy something like that. And this thing is light and I can carry it myself. That's kind of my criteria for all, for all of this. I wanna be able to move everything myself. I don't wanna rely on anybody else. All right, moving into the office, I cannot wait to throw away this computer desk. There's no chance this thing is coming with me. Ooh, got the M&M set up, throwing down some hot beats over here. Uh, that light, probably not. Bookshelf. Maybe, maybe because it's really, really light and I can move that easily. This right here is what is going to be a complete pain. Moving my clothes, there's no easy way to do it. I got not, I mean, I got rid of most of my shoes. I just donated a lot of them and then just got some more, I guess, dressier style clothes. I think the worst part about this whole process is living in filth right now. It just seems like everything is disorganized and dirty and I'm living out of a suitcase when I'm in Texas, when I'm here. I don't know what's going on. It's just one day at a time. You know what? That's good enough. I'm leaving home for the coastline. Someplace under the sun. This is it. We got everything packed full. I don't even know if you guys can tell, but this whole truck is just filled to the top. We got the bed all filled up. We are ready to get the heck out of here. Cause now I'm moving on here. I'm And there's a place that I've dreamed of where I can free my mind. Okay, guys, so my truck is currently en route to Texas right now with all my stuff in it, and I found that that was gonna be the cheapest way to move. So if you guys are ever in this same predicament, I would say look into that. Find a transportation company that has an enclosed trailer that can handle the weight, because if you do anything else, like a U-Haul, which that would've taken me like 20 hours if I wanted to drive it myself, those pods are like $3,000. This just seemed like the best option. So it should be there in a few hours. I'm at the airport, I'm gonna fly there, meet the guy, unload my stuff, 
and that's gonna cost me about $1,500. So that doesn't seem too bad to move my entire life, however many miles it is from Ohio to Texas. So I'm gonna hop on a flight to Dallas, hop on a connection to Austin, and then we'll be there. I hear the sounds of the season. The cabin divider petition or in your lap, only if you are in a bullpen seat. What a day, guys. So my flight got delayed. The guy that was delivering all my stuff has just been sitting here for hours and hours waiting on me for waiting on me to get here. It's 10 o'clock. I still have to move all my stuff into my apartment. Oh my gosh. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. I'm moving far away to a sunny place where it's just you and me. Dude, my Uber driver's pissed, my truck driver's pissed. Everyone thanks Steve for saving the day. See you, man. Bye. Sure, yeah. I've never seen it. This will be my first time seeing it, so wish me luck. All right, guys. What an adventure. I had Steve go pick up my keys. I don't even know where this place is at. I have no idea what building I live in. I don't even know. What is this? Come on. What is they gave me a water bottle. I just want my apartment keys, people. Guys, this whole day has just been a nightmare, but I think after walking around for about 30 minutes, we finally found it. Oh my gosh. Guys, what the hell am I doing right now? What in the hell am I doing right now? So hopefully you can hear me, it's kind of windy out here. We made it to Target. I need to buy pretty much everything that you can imagine. And this is the fanciest Target I've ever seen in my entire life. We are not in the Midwest anymore. So it's actually the exact same as every other Target. It just looks really nice on the outside. So I've got a very specific list of things to buy here and I did, what in the world? Do you guys just hear that music come on? But I did not put this list together. Thankfully that means I'm actually gonna get something that's worth buying. But I'm probably gonna be buying a lot more than this. Just the essentials, you know. I don't know what I'm doing really. So far out of my element right now. Soap dispensers, huh? I have never had this before in my life. Oh, just for the record, this was not on the list, but come on. We are done, quite honestly. It's only because, obviously, I can't fit anything more in this car. We got more things that I even know what to do with. Half of this stuff I've never even heard of. This looks like a bag of wine. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on, man. This is more than I even brought to Texas. This entire process has taken me like five hours. I don't know if you guys can see back here, but this is more stuff that I even brought with me from Ohio after Target. Well, I went to another Target, then I went to Home Goods, and I think, I think we're good. I think we've got enough stuff for, for anybody in existence. I mean, all the possibilities, so many options. So if we're taking this instead of team, you and I, I'm about to back down because we got your back. I'm waking up. All right, so we got everything here. Let me run you through everything that I bought because what we do on the internet is show you all things that nobody cares about. So real quick, we're gonna start with the most important and impressive part here. Look at all of this stuff that we have to clean with. Does anybody care what I'm cleaning with? If you want a clean house, you sure as hell do. So here's what you're gonna wanna get, at least according to the experts. Actually, you might wanna just take a screenshot right here. Typically, this would charge you thousands and thousands of dollars, but I got an inside connection, so we are all good. I mean, we have everything from glass to bathroom, heavy dust, wood, granite, cooking top, multi-surface. I mean, there's nothing that you could possibly throw my way that I am not prepared for. We got disinfectant wipes. Okay, that's an, oh, we, we do have this cool thing. I don't think I've ever had one of these. Pretty sure it's like, a, it's like a loofah for the dishes. Moving on to even more excitement, check out this shower curtain. I wish you guys could feel this. It's only a matter of time before we have that capability, but this is seriously the nicest shower curtain I've seen in my entire life. We have scented trash bags. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh, I left this stuff out with the cleaning material. Method wood, wood for good, squirt <laughs> and mop. All right, <laughs> anyway, we got a few plates here. Nothing too crazy. We got some gray, got some white, got a few bowls. It's gonna be a great poverty brownie bowl, I can just tell. I only got one coffee mug for now, and they didn't have a tea, my favorite number is seven, M plus seven is tea. Anyway, looking over here, we got Bona. We got two Bonas. I, I don't know what 
this is like a Swiffer, I think, but I'm, I'm guessing it's better than a Swiffer. Sandwich bags, aluminum foil. Is this getting boring yet? Because I'm kind of bored talking about this. But we got a few food items, nothing crazy. I just got a few things to hold me over. These are just kind of emergency. Oatmeal was necessary. Honeycombs got marketed. Pumpkin, uh, Cliff Bars, cold brew. I want to try these. These look pretty good. I like these pure protein bars. Real cheap. Quest Bars because I was desperate. I can't find RX Bars. If someone can tell me where to get those in Austin, I would really appreciate you. And these things from Home Goods are delicious and they're really cheap there. One set of wine glasses, two baking tins, silverware, a pan, a paper towel holder, some soap dispensers, which I've never had either, which is pretty fancy, a trash can, some soap and a partridge and a pear tree. This was what I did all afternoon. So that Target slash home goods trip cost me about $1,000. So as you can see, if you want to move a far distance, it's going to be a little bit pricey now. I'm sure some people can do it cheaper. A lot of people do it a lot more expensive. But just to give you guys kind of an idea of how much it'll run, I would say budget anywhere like three to five grand. And that's, I would say, being somewhat conservative. I've seen people do it like 30, 50 grand, which is a little bit excessive if you ask me. Hope keep thinking people are calling my name, but I gotta go get some food, guys. I have not been eating very well at all. Yesterday, all I ate was three protein bars. That is, and coffee, of course, but that was, that's just, you know, I just feel disgusting. I gotta get back on track. Not been doing a good job, and there's so many different places around here to choose from, so I think I'm gonna go to a place called Velvet Tacos. Someone told me it's, I think Brad told me it's better than Torchies. We'll see about that. We went one rotisserie chicken and one flank steak. They're good, but to say they're better than Torchies, nah, Brad, you're wrong, my man. Very, very wrong, but they're still, they're okay. You know, I think we're gonna cut the video off here. If you're interested in seeing what I think of the Bear Mattress, stay tuned, but I know that's not gonna apply to everybody, but I've already got a tweet about someone asking me to review it once I post it on my Instagram. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that next after I sleep, obviously, but if, if you're done here, thank you guys for tuned in. You could have been doing anything anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. That really, really does help me out a lot. You made it to this point. You had to like something, right? <laughs> I look forward to talking to you guys next time. Okay, guys, so I have slept on this bed for two nights now, and I have to say, I really, really like it. It has this cellular technology and this memory foam that makes it really comfortable and also helps with recovery, but it's not too soft. That's one thing I was concerned about. You guys know I got a bad back. It's kind of like right there in the middle, so it's just really comfortable, but it's not, it's not like a rock hard brick either. So I would say it's a great blend of both. So let me see if I can show you guys a little bit better here. There's actually four layers of memory foam on here and it really adapts to anyone's shape, anyone's body, and it kind of hugs you when you lay on it almost. It, it makes you feel like somebody loves you. I know what some of you guys are thinking. It's not gonna be on the ground forever. I ordered a bed frame, I promise. But moral of the story, comfortable, yes, I will definitely be getting a very good night's rest on this. Affordable, very much so. And convenient and so easy. That's the biggest thing for me, simplicity is key. And you can try this mattress out 100 nights risk-free, free shipping, no hassle returns. I will leave all of that link down below. And now, we are done with the video. Thank you again for taking time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything. I already said this. I'll talk to you guys next time.